In examining different types of memory, there are a, a number of ways to easily recall this. First is going to be your information processing uh, portion of memory. You've got sensory memory, that million plus bits of information that simply is lost because it's not encoded. It's not put into a format that your brain can understand. It's just kind of in one ear and out the other, so to speak. You have short-term memory. You have the magic number seven plus or minus two. Gotta love that mouse writing. Um, and those are the bits of information you keep in your working memory at, even, at any given point in time. Then you've got long-term memory. That's information that you can store in your cerebral cortex that hopefully you can access at some point in the future given the right cues and the right um, context. So that's basically your information processing portion of memory. Then you have different types of memory. There's episodic memory. That's going to be stories of your life, like episodes of a television show. It's going to be the episodes of your life, episodic memory. Then there's the procedural, how to do stuff, how to tie your shoes, how to drive a car, how to use a computer. The procedures, the things that take steps in order to how you do something is going to be the procedural memory. Semantic memory, you remember that semantics deals with meanings. Semantics, in terms of semantic memory, is the meanings of things that you have in your life. What do those things mean to you? Declarative, going to be facts and knowledge. Well, I do declare. There's something wrong with that boy. So a, de a de declarative is literally a declaring facts and knowledge that you have regarding particular uh, ideas. And then flashbulb is going to involve emotional events. So things like, do you remember where you were when 9-11 happened? Do you recall where you were when JFK was assassinated or when the, the uh, Challenger shuttle exploded or when some other hugely emotional event occurred? And I just read this. So there was some recent research that um, we have problems and we misrecall, we misremember the things that occur, uh, the details that occur uh, regarding flashbulb memories. Plus memory in general, as Elizabeth Loftus has told us and shown us through the scientific method, is that memory is often consolidated and often uh, in that consolidation is made false either in whole or in part. So memory is a fun thing. It's also kind of a funky thing. But here are uh, eight different ideas related to memory.